Uh, we're about to partake in the Canadian culture. Lasso, we're gonna die by this Hyundai. <laughs> okay. The last stop before the border, the we're going to uh, the Canadian Starbucks. Dim Ertens. That's not how they say it? That's how I say it. That's when wrong. I'm making a French noise. We're at Tim Hortons. Oh god, this old lady is about <laughs> to get run the f over. She's legit. Tim Hortons with the United States of America in the background. That's how you know it's a tourist photo. <laughs> yes, that's true. Wow. Is this in the car? No, that's the people behind us. Tourists, people do tourist things. Quick pit stop. We might get a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We might get a tourist ticket for parking on the street where we shouldn't be. We're here to run the stairs. It's all right. You got plenty of energy. It's only mid. I'm not running up I've only been you. driving for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the matter with being a tourist? I think it's super cool. Oh god, no. It's so dark. The only people who think this is not cool is people who live in Philly. <laughs> Your feet are big enough. Let the record reflect that I won. Well, to be, the to race be clear, the both times. To be clear, I let you in a second time because you won the first time. <laughs> They're very hard to see. They're very hard to judge in the darkness. I, that's easy to trip because of the depth when you're jumping two steps at a time. Our air conditioning is off working, off and on this whole weekend. It's very hot and humid right now. 76 degrees and 100% humidity at 1.35 a.m. It was making noise like that. And none of the air conditioning blows out. It's just all blowing in the dash. So we're going to see if we have any fault codes for the HVAC. Refrigerant pressure. What's your impression of the noise? Yeah, that's our fault codes. Gabby, South Street. It's not going to work. Remember Mistakes. how I said I hate being a tourist? So this is uh, Pat Steaks there. Why are you being a tourist? Super famous in Philly. We only got like three and a half more hours so we can go to bed. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. No, we should have had much better cheese steaks than this in my life. We should have went to Gino's. Yeah, this is garbage. This is like a mediocre cheese steak at best. I give this a four. I would say, I'd say 3.4. I think we should have went to Gino's. We just abandoned this and go over there. <laughs> I wouldn't say too much meat because I, I, I really like a lot of meat in my life. He likes big meat I like around meat. his mouth. <laughs> Maybe they saw we were tourists. Give him the stuff that fell on the floor. The meat cheese ratio is not right. It's succulent. Probably because it's old. Probably made it's around. Late. It's late. It's probably made around it's 9 It probably has a lot to do with the time mm -hmm. that we're here. It's currently like 1.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. on a Monday morning. <laughs> not considered to be a high traffic time for late night eating. I wish you could see what's going on behind the camera. Nathan has some very high level of skill while eating the sandwich and recording at the same time. Mm. The lack of sleep is starting to kick in on me. Well. Only three more hours. Um, yes. Never stop <laughs> hustling. It's actually a good indication that they're not that somebody's not a hustler. If they talk <laughs> about how they never stop hustling. Watch the whole change things on Netflix. They never, never stop, stop hustling, hustling as mm -hmm. they post their mm -hmm. MLM scheme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna talk to you about a really amazing business opportunity. Hey, I know I haven't talked to you since high school. Mm -hmm. Did you ever want to be your own boss? <laughs> Except for me, I'm still your boss. <laughs> Just will... give me $500 and you can make all the money. Nah, me? How much have I made? Let's not to talk about that. <clears throat> we're at uh, VW and Audi headquarters. Right now we're just looking at the display cars. They rotate these every... I don't know how often they rotate them. Sometimes they have pretty crazy stuff here. Like, I think they had that race car here recently. So, yeah, this was slightly off our trip, but just by a little bit uh, off of 95. So we were stopped by to check out some stuff. We're gonna take a walk around the parking lot. Uh, what's that? Is that out yet? This? The e-tron? The e-tron, I think they're just about hitting dealers. What's your official, I know you were doing golf, Golf, you were doing golf content, right? Yeah, no, I, I'm still Are the you? I'm product manager for USA for all golf models. All golf models. But she's also an enthusiast, which is why she always goes to all the events. Yeah. Um, this is basically our executive parking, which is why you only see Atlas's, Corex mm -hmm. T7s, uh, one off RS5s. Yeah, personal Tesla. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love the color of yeah. the Tron. This one, uh, the one in the showroom. So nice. I thought that was so cool. Mm -hmm. um, I brought the keys to the TCR. I parked it here. Okay, so we're about to look around this TCR car. Uh, this is basically replacing the Club Sport in Europe. We're not going to get this car, but this car is very similar to a Club Sport car, except for it's for European market and it's facelift cars as opposed to uh, your general Mark 7s. As far as the interior is concerned, the biggest differences you're going to see, this is obviously a Wolfsburg built car, but you're going to see that there's a difference in the trim decor. Mm -hmm. Um, Alcantara and the seats are either available in leather or in this case you've got kind of a triple material. Mm -hmm. It's partial leather, partial Alcantara, partial cloth, kind of like a jacquard cloth. That's cool. Alcantara shift knob. Um, the car for Europe is DSG only, two door or four door. Um, steering wheel is definitely different. Is it? Yeah, it's got a perforations on it, kind of like the A6 GTI. With the red line on the top? With the centering line on the top. Oh, centering line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Club Sport. Exactly. Yeah. Stuff. So again, like same size, yeah. just cross road. Lighter, yeah. Yep. Um, you've got the under door lighting that says TCR, which is kind of cool. Oh, that is cool. Did they all get the graphics? The graphics are an option. Um, this is a show car, so obviously they wanted to have it visibly be a TCR. Yeah. The spoiler is specific to the uh, TCR, but it looks pretty similar. It just has definitely, it's a little bit wider and has more of an upturn Up, than yeah. the VMAX spoiler. Um, obviously, dynamic tail lights because they're European and yeah. they're super smoked. Like this is way darker than U.S. regulations allow. And then the, you can see how dark the tint is too. This would never fly in the U.S. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the rear is actually pretty aggressive. Yeah, it's got a it's got a slightly different muffler. The exhaust definitely sounds different. Um, you're welcome to start it up if you want to. Yeah. And then this is finished in Oryx white, which is a golf bar color. Oh, that was a European experience, wasn't it? Yeah. So we have our enthusiast fleet here right now. We've got the Mangan Gray, Arteon, the Confetti Rabbit, um, stock Autobahn GTI, and then Ginster, Golf R, um, 2020 Passat riding on these sweet wheels that I love. So that's the Passat facelift for 2020. Hey, check out that Spectrum Mark 7. Was that white or green? Yep, this is Mold Guy. Original hut. I don't know when it showed up here. Mm. So I think one of the big things design wise is you just need to get rid of that wheel gap. The fenders are just huge. Yeah. It's gotta be dropped. It's made it's exhaust fit. Yeah, you can see it, it drives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. It, I mean, it's so cool that the GLI and GTI are finally like one for one the exact same mm -hmm. car. Yeah. Like back in Mark V, which was, yeah. in, in my opinion, the last great GLI. Um, but now you have a GLI that's awesome, just like a GTI. Yeah. It really is a, a GTI with a trunk now. Right, right. Tunability wise. Through here, it's not a whole yeah. lot of clearance. Oh my gosh. No. Well, our other Atlas, uh, we can't drop it through here. It's just, it's too lifted and it's got the big, huge two pots on top. Mm. 1552. You guys definitely turned it around. Yeah. <laughs> From what it was. Just changing out some components visually. Like we put on 19 inch Pretorias. Um, it's got a TCR rear diffuser on it. Um, it's got TCR exhaust. I just blacked out all the badges. Put on the Ettinger Twin Bridge or spoiler. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. It's good to see you. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great rest of your drive home. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice, meeting. nice meeting you. Great. Take see care, guys. Bye. Nice. Okay, guys. That's we are gonna head back to North Carolina. That's probably gonna complete our show coverage. Unless anything exciting happens. Unless in the anything, world. Probably Hopefully won't. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, we currently have the limb mode issue that we have with a probably we need to adjust our wastegate and then do some data logging and if if the issue continues to communicate with Unitronic on that and then we have to resolve our air conditioning problem uh, which we have a flat motor issue so we are gonna it's really annoying it's like 90 degrees outside today and we got like about another six hours to go home yeah so what happens is that eventually it slowly turns and turns and turns until the air conditioning is 
functioning. It's just not blowing any air into the car. It's just all <laughs> It just this is cold air inside the dashboard. Just tantalizing yeah. fan noise that doesn't <laughs> touch us. So hopefully that doesn't continue through the rest of this trip because it's gonna be hot. Awesome powers.